participating in one or more of the many spring and summer runs in our area. So here to share some important advice to help you prepare your body for those runs, the fitness nomad, John Ashworth. He's here to tell us how to get your body all ready. So the first thing, yeah, we're going to use these foam rollers Foam rollers, here, these right? are a magic tool for runners. Okay. And I brought two versions of it. The white one is for beginners. The darker one is harder to the core. And what you do is you get onto the foam roll here, and it's just a good massage for the quadricep muscles. You roll all the way up. Okay. Down to the top of the knee, and then especially for the IT band, rolling on that IT band is key for runners. Oh, piece of cake. If I weren't in a suit, I would be down there doing that. Of course, that job, you would. right? Of course. <laughs> Stretching is also the other thing that's Stretching, really important. Stretching, and you know, we talked about that a couple weeks ago. Exactly. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. No one stretches enough. So, one quick stretch you go massage the IT band on the foam roll, and then you do a crossover. If I cross my right foot over my left and I reach down toward the inside of my mm -hmm. left foot, I get a nice stretch on my IT band and my left hip. Okay, and again, if I weren't in a suit, boy, I would just be, right. you know, I would just be doing that. So those are important. Right. And this one, I think people might underestimate just how important being hydrated, water. Exactly, Point and it's three. all about recovery. What people underestimate is the recovery. Your recovery is where you get stronger and fitter and able to run farther. And if you're not drinking enough water, your muscles are full of water, they really need it, mm -hmm. you will struggle to recover properly. Okay, and how important is sleep? And people might forget about that one as well. Right, another big one. Another big recovery tool for you is sleep. Getting to bed on time to allow the muscles in the body and the brain to regenerate so you can be ready for your run tomorrow. Okay, so uh, the other thing, don't overdo it, right? right. You need some time. To explain how much time you should really be taking off here. And not, I mean, it shouldn't be constantly training. It shouldn't be constant. And what you need to do is take a day off when you feel like you need a day off. And this is mm -hmm. very individual. It depends on your current fitness level, how hard you're training, and how you feel on any given day. So don't feel guilty about taking a day off when you need it. All right. Well, you heard you've got That's an excuse right. now. So there you go. Well, I know, and at thefitnessnomadreport.com, you put a video on there, right. basically. I put a video with extended. more explanation about the foam rolls and the stretching and the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, and a lot more examples of foam rolling and stretching. So check that out at his blog, thefitnessnomadreport.com. John, I hope you have some uh, good runs out there over the summer uh, around the area, and I hope you do, too. We'll be back with the final check of the forecast.